Hello, random internet viewer. Today, I want to rage against uh, these false experiments that scientists are doing to prove gravity. See, they're lying to you. They've known how gravity's worked since the 60s. And I'm going to prove it to you. One, that it's a particle. And two, that they've known since the 60s how it works. What they're doing with these experiments, I have no idea, but it's not looking for gravity. So let's logic get out. One, it could either be a particle or a bend in space-time. They've known it's been a particle since the 60s, but they're focusing on bending space-time because that can't be proven. That's just part of the equation. There's no way to detect it, no way to do anything like that. So they're going to say that must be it as opposed to a particle. In the 60s, when they discovered this particle, they theorized it was gravity and they figured it out. Let's go through the logic. It's real easy. One, if gravity is a particle, it has to be the product of a decay of matter. So since all matter has gravity, matter, which is electrons, neutrons, or protons, has to decay to produce gravity or a graviton. Number two, this matter decay product has to be negative or antimatter energy because all matter energy, all energy that interacts with us, this phone energy, everything that we use, is matter positive vibration energy that pushes everything, all energy in the universe pushes away matter. That's how it works. Whereas antimatter energy, anti energy would do the exact opposite, it would have to pull it. So, part two, it has this decay product of matter has to be negative energy or what we call antimatter energy. And number three, there has to be a lot of them. A lot of them. That's the most important part. So let's look at it. Let's see. Are there any decay products of matter? Well, the only decay product is nutri or, or neutrons. Now when a neutron decays, it produces an electron and something called an antimatter neutrino, which is a negative energy packet, negative energy neutrino. The only product that decays from matter are neutrinos and electrons from a neutron. So, are there a boatload of these neutrinos? Yes, there are. There's more than can be counted per inch of square space. Almost like there's enough to be made by every neutron decaying. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, if a neutrino really is gravity, certainly scientists have figured this out. Certainly they've done experiments and they've decided to a T. Nope, this isn't it. That's where the fun part is. You guys look it up and you tell me what you find because I was flabbergasted at what I found. So again, scientists have known... Since the 60s, what matter is and what gravity is, I'm sorry. If not, then apparently I deserve another Nobel Prize. So, you, what do you think? Is gravity neutrinos and have scientists been covering it up? Or do I deserve yet another Nobel Prize?